Folks, we absolutely have been crushing it out there with these best stocks to buy now. I love these episodes. All I ever ask, put in the comments which ones you are watching. I'm going to come back and check this out, but these have been fire. We've been using the bread recipe on that. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, over in our community at the Stock Mo Academy. If you join, use code Mo. It's only good for a couple more days. Save a bundle, but get over there. I'll even show you a quick picture on this. Click the link down below. Join us over there, and you will see what I'm talking about. But we have been crushing it, and I told you I wanted to bring back the best stocks to buy now episode, and we're there. And so we're going to get dig right into it. So we're going to start with Redfin. I asked you guys for what stocks do you think can go 10 times in the next few years. You have accepted the challenge. You have put the stocks out there that you think could blow up. Now I'm going to give you an idea of what we're looking at. So we're going to start with Redfin. I can see this one already. We're going to come in here. I haven't even looked at these, but I'm going to give you my opinion on where these stocks are in terms of the daily candles what they're looking like are we bullish are we bearish i'm really going to dig into them for you too uh using the fib and some other things so let's start with redfin is redfin a stock to buy right now or should we be shorting it no matter if we're not buying it there is always a play and it could be shorting or longing let's take a look at this one so for this one i'll start with the major push down we had a big uh we had a big push up and i want to make sure this is okay and we'll get into it here Oh boy, when you have the technical difficulties, it is annoying, but we're going to keep it real here and keep moving. So uh, with this, we're going to go up here, check it out. Boom, we got this. The FIB retracement tells us that most likely we're going to hit the 50 to 61.8% retracement. And as you can see from this, we push all the way up. The retracement zone was right here. So if you're watching Redfin, you're thinking to yourself, where are we going? Well, we're right here. We got down two days in below the 61.8, but look what happened. All of a sudden, it's pushing right back up on that support. And if we get above that support, I would not be surprised to see this go off and running again. So short term, I know what you're thinking. Well, isn't it bearish, Mo? You can see it. Yeah, we crossed over. We had confirmation all the way back here. You should have been shortening at this point. But then you got to say, how low is it going to go before it could have a, a push up? Well, we're there. It is still bearish, and you are very bearish on this thing. But watching what I just showed you, I don't know. It's a mix right now. I definitely like this stock, and you can see a lot of different things happening. Now, for the overall head and shoulders, family, this is a head and shoulders through and through. So with me watching this, I'm going to tell you my final synopsis. I don't know. Is that a right word? Here we go. The shoulder, down it goes. My friends, this is absolutely head and shoulders. I believe that with this setup, I am extremely bearish. That's my final my final thoughts on this one. Uh, with this setup, if this collapses and stays underneath, this is how, what I would watch for. If we can't break and confirm above 690 and we start pushing back down, this thing is going to collapse all the way back down to the low fours. And that is what I believe is going to happen. Now, we'll see if that is the case or if it goes a different direction. Next one on the list, LEAS has been on fire. I don't know that one. Let me take a look. It well, I, well L L E A S uh, over the counter. Is that a penny stock? It is a penny stock, and you're right. I asked you to give me a stock that could go 10 times. You gave me a stock, and, and I got to tell you, it was a day ago. So this was here. You gave me this stock right here. That's not right. You got to tell me here. Give me the stock at one cent, not when it went up four times. But it did run. So I'll give you that one. It is overbought at this particular moment in time with the RSI. Uh, yeah, congrats to those who are in that one. That is it one of the best penny stocks to buy now? I don't know. I'm not into the penny stocks. So that's on you. C R N T. What do we get here? Okay, let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Moving using the day uh, chart. We got another penny stock. I see the penny stocks are hot. If you're looking for a 10 timer, I get it. This was down to a dollar seventy, up to three dollars here in just a couple of months. So at this particular moment in time, it was overbought here, came back down, 
push back up. Now we're seeing it retreat off the 75 RSI. I like it. It's bullish. Now this is a decent looking chart for a penny stock. It's moving up. It's doing its thing. No guarantees. No guarantees. But boy, it's looking nice, isn't it? Oh man, I had a, you know what? I should consider making a penny stock portfolio. What I mean by that is any stock under $5 using the bread recipe and only call options, ones that'll go up. Setting a stop loss, say 15%. If it hits it, I'm out. I keep moving around. I like that idea. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments what you think about that if you'd like to see something. Moving over to the next best stocks to buy now, BLDR. I like that. BLDR. Let's go. The Builder's First Source. Look at that beauty. That is a beautiful trend right there. You got the RSI right in the middle between 75 and 50 at 64. Beautiful. I like it. I don't have to spend a lot of time when the chart looks this nice. That is nice. Nice tight Bollinger Band. Good looking. Oh, wow. The EMAs are looking. Nice one. I'm only doing one per person. Maybe not 10 times, but FWRG. FWRG. Let's take a look. FWRG. Take a look at what we got going on. And, and, uh, well, similar to the last one, a little high, 67. It's okay. It's okay. I like it at the 64, 65. Looking good. These stocks are looking real nice. You're right. That is a decent looking mover right now. Uh, just a little bit ago, it was at 16. Now up 50% off of that at 24. Congrats on those gains if you were in that one. Uh, Mo, can you do TA on Roku? I can, and I'm going to. R-O-K-U. Pulling up Roku. Is this one of the best stocks to buy now or too short? Best stocks to buy now. Best gross stocks to buy now. I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Uh, it got crushed on the Bollinger Band down three. Now you're seeing it kind of come off that bottom down here. Personally, when you see these gaps down like that and it gap, gap, now it's kind of slowing down, slowing down. Oh, we hit down. Now it's kind of relieving pressure. Uh, that could give us a little bit of a pull back up towards the 50. Doesn't mean it's running all the way back up here, family. It dropped for a reason. Uh, you can see we've been down in this zone before, and it could work its way back into the 50s, high 50s. But overall, it is bearish. But keep an eye on this low RSI. But right now, it is bearish. All right. W-U-L-F. Is it one of the best stocks? Wolf. Is Wolf a buyer? I figured it was a penny stock. When I, I can't, I don't know these. You guys throw these out there. I'm never sure. When you guys are putting them out, I don't never heard of it. I'm like, okay, it has to be a stock under five. Here you go, it is. Uh, at this particular moment in time, this thing ran from 96 cents all the way up to $3, 200% up, all the way down to $1.23. So you lost 60% of your money if you bought at the top. It comes all the way down to the bottom. If you're following this, you would have said it was overbought. You wouldn't be buying if you're one of my followers. You're not buying when the RSI is up in the 70s and 80s. So it comes all the way down. Now the RSI is in the 30s, which is a decent area. You're looking for a reversal. You kind of get it uh, right in here. You kind of get a reversal, but not. it's sideways. I like it when it's up one. So right here is your real reversal. At that point, it does go from $1.89 all the way back up to two seventy three. dollars So you make yourself a quick 50%. Now it is coming back down to 50 and this is getting tested. Uh, possibly, if it goes back under the, the 50 EMA, your price would drop back under $1.89. And so you got to be careful at this point. Interesting play. I could trade this one. I could trade this one. Buying and short selling, I could do that one. All right, charge point. Let's look at charge point. Charge point, always a stock that people are interested in. And this has been getting beat up. It's now a penny stock, family. In case you didn't know that, charge point is now a penny stock. Uh, you can see it hits the 50, it drops more. Hits the 50, drops more. Uh, and so we got above the 50 here, and you thought maybe, maybe, you know, the 50 acted as resistance, pushes it down. So at this particular moment in time, it is ugly. Wow, is that ugly. That's a big drop quick, man. Uh, yeah, so bearish on that big time. Plug, plug. I know it had some love earlier. Was it last week? Yeah, right here. Well, you can see the love it got. It was down at two, all the way back up to five. Huge moves. And since then, it got back down to the 50, 50, 50. Crash down it goes. And so that's why you watch that 50. 
If it can stay above the 50, confirm above the 50 and keep moving, we could have a reversal. This is not a reversal. If anything, this is continuing to bleed. That is nasty. Folks, that's what I ask you to do. Put out there the best stocks to buy now you think could go 10 times. We'll talk about them in the next video. If you haven't joined the Stock Mo family, come on over. We've been dominating. It's been a good week again. So come on over and check it out. Uh, join. Join the course as well with Code Mo. Take advantage of it. That's what I got for you today. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.